Ciao, everybody. Ciao, guys. Ciao, ragazzi. It's the Ciao, Milan ragazzi. Guys podcast. The Milan Guys Emergency Podcast. Um, we're just tweeting out the link now. Hopefully, you'll be joining us. Huge new, huge, huge day for for Milan. I mean, I feel like we have a lot of these recently. Huge but day, like huge hour and a half. <laughs> huge hours. hour. Um, it's been nuts. Uh, we're, I want to wait for some live viewers to come in here, but usually we, we just do it once a week for the podcast. But felt like that it's kind of a pressing time right now, and I feel like it's a good time to to get a show in right after the match, right after a. A two a two one win against Sassuolo. I'm just reading on Twitter here. Um, <laughs> Ibrahimovic they has asked they asked him about the his renewal and he said I, I, I don't know there is something new every day here. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Thanks, Ibra. Um, so yeah, he said uh, Ibra said I'm still angry. One difficult game. Staying here for next season. I uh, there are three games left. I don't expect anything. There are things you can't control. Ragnik is not come. Oh, R- sorry. I said Ragnik is not coming. There are new things every day. Honestly, uh, I'm not, we'll see what happens here. But you know, we have a few viewers here. Welcome, guys. Let's start talking about it. We'll talk about the What's match up, a bit, little bit. Let's talk about it. Put it in the chat what you want to hear. You know, everything ha- in the last hour and a half, everything happened. Uh, Padre Pioli gets basically gets his renewal. We, we, in the last couple of episodes, we've talked about Pioli and. And uh, and Ragnik the whole time, but now it's like it's 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 reality now. So now we can't even talk about Ragnik coming anymore. He's not. It's official. Uh, Milan put it officially on the website um, that Pioli extending his stay. Here's I'm looking at the oh, website they right now. Put it on the website right now, Milan. Yeah, yeah. Pioli extends his agreement at AC Milan coach um, oh June 2022. Uh, and then Gazita said, I am delighted with this agreement. Stefano has shown he can deliver the division of football we have for our club. He's not based on a recent victory, <laughs> but one based on how he's built the team spirit and unity of purpose. And Pioli said, I'm happy and proud of the trust I've received. I want to thank everyone, including our fans, who are really missing from the stadium. Um, as I said many times, our future is today. We must be focused on the term. We must be united and play as one. We are at the beginning of an extraordinary path. We keep working this way. We will grow and be, and be more and more competitive. Um, so, and Maldini said Stefano stepped up the head could be to become head coach at a very difficult time. Uh, we've always said it would take some time to see results of this job, and we have seen the evidence that quality and professionalism, professionalism always pays off. Stefano is the right man to lead the team that he wants to be successful, young and hungry. And guys, for those listeners out there right now, put in the chat uh, what are you guys thinking? What are your thoughts about Pioli, Ragnik? Obviously, you know, we've been talking about uh, we've been talking about Ragnik for. Um, what since nine months been now, been eight months now, and January since it's been January, and, and and like we've said, and it has to be said, you know, Pioli's been nothing but professional, right? And during this whole time, getting questions about a new coach while he's trying to do his job, I got another win today. Uh, Milan, we'll talk about this after too. Milan officially clinch a Europa League spot for next season, it just matters in the season, it's the scene of five, six, and seven. Um, which we're battling with Roma and Napoli for currently, we're in fifth. Uh, and then we're uh, Roma and Napoli play. They both play tomorrow, I believe so. They, I believe yeah, they so. both play yeah. tomorrow. Uh, Roma's away to Spal and Napoli's away to Parma. So we're we'll cheering for those two teams, Parma and Spal, tomorrow. Um, oh, first off, Umbi, I'll, I'll get your opinion on it. What are your thoughts? Did you did you even think when you saw like during the it was like during the tenth minute uh, the kicker the kicker in the Germany? Kicker. Yeah. No, one, no one even knew if they were re- if they were reliable or not. They're like, oh. Renek's not coming. It was like, okay. Like we'll see. It could be just like one of those clickbait things. What were you thinking? What was I? I was hoping that it was one of those clickbait things. Um, yeah. Like, as like I've told you in like private conversations, I think Piotr was a good. He was a good like replacement guy. Like look, he, obviously the work he's done on the field translates. Um, he was able to get the best out of his team. Well, obviously, and then. You get guys like Hakan and Simon Kier that are amazing acquisitions from uh, from Maldini and from Boban at the time that come in and they all did a good job making the team good again. And I guess if you're looking at results, then obviously it was a no-brainer to keep Pioli because you're thinking, like, we haven't lost a game in forever. Pioli yeah. is doing wonders with such a mediocre team. He's playing guys where they needed to be played. And yeah, like it makes sense, but also all these months talking about 
Rangnick and people becoming experts on him, learning about his history. It's kind of annoying, no? Yeah, when he was with Schalke, Leipzig, his first coaching days, uh, how he basically modernized German football and how he was the inspiration of the German national team, blah, blah, blah. Like, we hear it all the time on Twitter. Yeah. Like, I was kind of looking forward to it because it's something that Milan's never done. And it's like it was making us... Gazidis, I guess, had an some sort of idea to try and align us so much with the beliefs and work ethic of a Premier League team. That is what I like seriously yeah. thought and which I like, which I loved because look at how the Premier League these past 10 years has launched itself by far the greatest league economically economically uh, economically um, this year not really because like there was a winner already in september no in no but league. yeah but they're all they're also they're also um they're, yeah, they're ahead economically i wouldn't say the quality they were, the yeah they were they were just quality. years they were years ahead and that's, yeah, why because, yeah. that's why juventus was able to also like start dominating italy because juventus was one of the richer clubs in italy the richest club in italy yeah and they had that forward future thinking um exactly yeah thought processing skills that were like oh okay let's like take advantage of this so i was hoping that that was going to be something for milan as well but hey you know what we'll see we'll see if italians can still do the job for milan honestly again i've I've always kind of said the same opinion on the podcast that i wanted pioli in i I thought that again we've played oh (laughs) sorry so look i'm just looking on twitter right now so ibra Ibra found out about like Piola, Pioli's uh, extension like on air, like they didn't even know. Um, they, they literally interviewed him. They said, "Oh yeah, like Pioli is uh, um, is staying." He's like, "Oh really?" He didn't even know. Um, oh, anyway, God. anyway, uh, Vito Angela just tweeted saying, "Milan's desire is to confirm the entire management hierarchy. Therefore, Paolo Maldini is preparing to be reconfirmed." This for me is extremely important. I mean. I kind of we talked about it last podcast, but I agree with what Capello said about what he said that if you bring in Ragnik, it's another year. It's another year of of he's another league. Um, you know what I mean? I don't know if you agree with me, but uh, it's another year of of building and growing it because is. you can't expect him to come yeah, in it's and a whole different strategy. Exactly, it's exactly. Different. It's a whole it's a whole different process. You're talking yeah. about a guy who's who Red Bull put at the head of their soccer sporting or, or uh, uh, technical yeah. area. Like yeah. Red, they, Red Bull, who makes energy drinks and <laughs> was affiliated with Red Bull crashed ice and extreme sports, all of a sudden started becoming a good soccer team. And, well, they have their two teams, the one in Austria and the one in Germany. Yeah. And they gave Ragnik all that power, which makes you crazy. Feel like Red Bull was a team in the third German division less than, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know if this is 100%, if I'm not mistaken, less than like six, seven years ago, they were in the third division. And yeah. now they're in almost their, fir- their first year in the Bundesliga, they were battling out with, uh, with Bayern to win the Bundesliga. Yeah. And, it's, yeah, you're right. But you know what? I don't even want to talk about him too much because he's not part of Milan's future. It's Honestly, pretty- yeah, like it's a waste. Stefano Pioli, it's Stefano Pioli time. Apollo Solutions just said in here, uh, Pioli. The Pioli is a decision. great decision by Milan. What are you thinking of? What are you thinking, Apollo? What 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 are your like? Obviously, you agree with like my standpoint is I agree with it too. When I saw it, I actually kind of got excited. I think Pioli. I didn't want to make the same mistake as last season. Like Atuzo had a great year. And then we let him go, and then we got Giampaolo, and it didn't work. And obviously, it's tough to, to determine the future. But you know, I'm but I'm, see, the, I'm I don't know I'm I'm uh, I don't thing, know. The thing on that is like this Ragnick decision was already premeditated. Like when Giampaolo was fired, unfortunately for the terrible job he did, when we were all hoping it was going to be a maestro that would help Milan back. Yeah. Like there were already thoughts on Ragnick. They just wanted a stopgap coach to come in and you know fulfill don't make don't get Milan relegated yeah basically <laughs> and you know purely I think purely was the right guy for that job like we were all purely yeah. you know, right away everyone well, wants Spalletti no, I, everybody, yeah everybody wants Spalletti but everyone you know, wants Spalletti but purely hey purely sh- shut us up he did a yeah. tremendous job obviously not in his debut tying 2-2 to Lecce but he did he did well but I think I still think that hopefully this doesn't bite us in the butt, basically, 
because like I was just reading on Twitter how, um, and again, this is Twitter, it's not confirmed, um, that how Piotr has had purple patches, but then like right away, like he did well with Inter and then got sacked uh, shortly after with Fiorentina. He had a nice little purple patch, but then got fired because the results were lacking at yeah. the end. So I don't know. Like this is the biggest team he's ever faced. The uh, not faced, coached. Yeah. So we'll see. Like he looks like he can handle the pressure. Uh, I'll honestly, man, whatever brings Milan back to playing on Tuesday nights, and for me to hear that Champions League anthem, and not for me to listen to it while playing PlayStation <laughs> with uh, AC Milan. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'm I'm happy. I'll just be happy. Well, exactly, and so Nick comunicato ufficiale. Yeah. See. So Nick says, so who's going to play for against Atalanta, I guess you're asking. Um, <laughs> uh, well, I mean, fuck, I, I, honestly, we're not even chatting about Romagnoli and Colti's injury because everything else is, has overtaken that. But Romagnoli, I'm actually I'm, I'm worried a little bit. I'm going to be honest. Hopefully, it's just like a calf strain or something. Yeah, but, it, it looked like it. Like, just like, like, I think it's played sports. It's not like, it looks like, no, not no, no, not ACL, not ACL. Um, and I hope Conti's okay too, because you know Conti's injury history, right? Like it'd be you, you never want to wish a guy. What was what did he go out for again? I, like I saw there was no it. contact. We didn't really see it. it was behind the play. Um, oh. But hopefully they're okay. But it looks like I mean I'm gonna assume that Conti and Romagnoli are not gonna play on Friday because that doesn't it's too quick. Um, I'm gonna assume that our lineups gonna look something like Donnarumma, Calabria, Kier, Gabbia. Like salt because Teo Hernandez is suspended with a silly challenge today, very silly uh, yellow card. Um, and it's going to be Kessie with Bilia because Ben said another silly yellow card that was a very pointless challenge he put in in the middle of the field and didn't save a goal. If, in my opinion, if you're not going to save a goal, if you're not going to stop a place up a counter that's going to print a goal, don't put the challenge in, don't oh. foul, don't foul. And he did, so it's going to be uh, Kessie and Bilia, and then this front will probably be Salamakers, uh, Chelanoglu. Rebic and Ibrahimovic. But again, Athlon is going to be a tough game. I would actually, I wouldn't even mind a draw on that game. I know, like, I know if we're going to have to lose any of these games, I'd rather lose that and then beat them. Honestly, man, out. less than, less than five nothing, I'll be happy. That means oh, I've improved. We're, we're at home. We're at home. I, hopefully, we can, we can yeah, score at home, home. But like, hopefully, home. we can, hopefully, we can continue. I mean, unless Krunic comes in instead of Billy, I don't know. Maybe Krunic? I don't know. They've but, never given him a shot, man. Like, I remember really. watching his Empoli highlights. Like, he was, like, we were saying, oh, my God, this guy is, like, this guy can be what Nocerino was for us in the first season. Like, how yeah. Nocerino was bought for a million euros, and he was, he had a hat-trick against, um, who did he score a hat-trick against? Parma, I think? Who, Parma? Was, uh, yeah. Yeah. I think. Uh, like, yeah. like, Nocer like, I was hoping that Krunic was going to do the exact same. But like no, they never really. No one really gave him a shot. Hopefully, this is his shot, basically, to have a confirmed yeah. <laughs> place in the team um, this year. So I'm just reading on Twitter here, and guys, it's a live emergency podcast. It's gonna be fun. Uh, Stefano Pioli reveals that he got the call on Monday that Milan would extend his contract. So yesterday, um, he got the call, and it's kind of funny how like someone. Do like, you think he triggered something in his, in his contract? Well, I mean, it always said that if we didn't qualify for Europe, his his um. It terminated, obviously. Yeah. yeah but do exactly. you think there was like an automatic trigger in it? Like all of a sudden, after so much speculation, so much like smoke screen on basically, I mean, going to be the guy. I and... don't know. Honestly, it's. Or it's... do you think it was literally a change of heart? I feel like they look at, like, I, it's hilarious as it sounds, but I feel like they see what the fans are saying on social media and stuff like that. I feel like they, they look at they that. Have to. They, they have do. to. And in, in this in this time in 2020, how how important social media is and stuff, and you look at the job Maldini's done, and, and this is what's huge. Like Maldini staying is really big. Like like I mean, look yeah look what Apollo Solutions wrote uh, like yeah. like exactly Maldini Maldini got hey, there. Like those are the Rebic, Rebic. The best players right now. The Rebic, but even though apparently Boban was kind of the one. Rebic was a Bo Rebic was you can tell anyone that's like Croatian or Yugoslav yeah. or like ex Yugoslavian. You know, that's Boban in there. And so let's go with another chat. Let's we're, honestly, guys, keep putting your stuff in the chat. We'll talk about it. Um, oh. Oluwali says, Milan fans will turn on the same management if Pioli goes bad. They will blame for letting Lamb go. And honestly, man, you're, honestly, that, you're right. You're spot you're on. Right. Absolutely spot on. That's going to, it's just, 
but the problem is we can't look, we can't be negative and look into the future and say, okay, we're going to be, we're going to be crap in a couple of years. You just can't, or sorry, in a couple of months, you just can't, there's a, there's no turnaround. There's like no preseason, right? A season starts, uh, yeah, four yeah. weeks after three, three and a half, four weeks after the uh, season ends. Oh, is it, oh. When, when's the confirmation? When did it? I um... think it's after the Champions League final. So the Champions League and Europa League are going to be in August. And then after that, I think City after the first week of September or something like that. Cause it, cause Confirmed. it, cause they want, uh, they always wanted to to keep the next season untouched, right? So, and like I guess their mentality of it was that the players already had three months break. Yeah. Um, but the thing is, yeah. they've always been trying to, like, uh, like the past couple of years, they've they've been trying to start early, like they do in the prem. Yeah, I know. So like they play their three four games to then realize who who else do we need from the transfer market? Yeah, let me look. I up. like that. Let me look. Like up. Let me look. Let me look. Sorry, I'm going to look at the the EPL season and see what they're doing. Yeah. Um. They're saying that uh, the, the September twelfth for Premier League. September twelfth. They're gonna September, start. September twelfth. That's that's good. That's usually. Okay, let me see what City A says. I'm trying um, to think. Like it's you. City A usually starts the last couple weeks. The last couple weeks of August. So. Like, yeah. So they're saying that. Um. It gives players an extra month and a half. It, basically. It said that they're expected to start by the third weekend of August. Around there. That's this is what a thing says in this is back in June, I think. Yeah, uh, I don't know about that. Not uh, uh, in June because the Champions League stuff hasn't been. No, oh, because it wasn't it, it, yet. No. To start, it said it'll be confirmed by July, mid to July. I guess we, I guess it's not confirmed yet because we. Yeah, just, the city has always been slow. I know. So third weekend of August, um, it should last till mid May. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing here on Google. Um, oh, uh, Chief says, yeah, okay, okay. So yeah, there's a quick turnaround. And, you know, you just got to keep looking positively and hopefully things change. And again, I said it many podcasts, you guys have listened. Continuity is huge. Continuity. We we can't have a new coach every single season. It's not going to work. We're never going to get success. Uh, and Lazio is literally the biggest example you can look at that they kept Simone Inzaghi when they didn't even want him. They had Bielsa. They had Marcelo Bielsa. And they, and they rejected kept them to go coach Argentina and then withdrew... Yeah. His uh, his yeah. agent, uh, to then go coach Leeds again. Yeah, exactly. Interesting. But um, okay, so we'll go to the next comment here. Who is head to head? Um, they're one one and and two two. So I honestly, I get. But, uh, yeah, it doesn't really that. matter. They're deadlocked. They're deadlocked. Oh, but I think us and Napoli have a similar goal differential too. Let me look. Uh, but uh, yeah, it doesn't do. really matter because it's about goal yeah, differential. So our goal if that's if that's what you're implying, Lolly. Our, our, Ours is eleven, theirs is ten, so it's very close. But if it, I think if it goes, if the goal differential is the same, it could probably go head to head. But then we're the same on that too, two uh, two and one one. Oh no no, it goes to a no. I'm pretty sure it goes to a way okay, goals. Then we, then we get in. Then we're ahead yeah, of them. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so let's go. So Nick said, I think the reason why this minus one four because you know what, honestly, there is there is that. You no, can say that too, but Nick, you're right. There is there is no Nick, pressure. On you're team. right. But what then? Then what's the, what about the other teams though? We're still, the other teams are playing with no fans too. They don't have any pressure either, right? Yeah. Like, but like, like the thing is, like I understand what Nick's trying to say. It's like oh, me too, me too. Really, like the only pressure Milan was was just like finish ahead of like Sassuolo and Verona, who were like little threats. And like there, there's your Europa League yeah. qualification spot. But what's what's great is that I didn't think we get as many points as we did last season, but we actually might if we win. If you win all three games, you well, can we max out. With, we can max out think, with, we we had, with we 68 points. We had 64 last year. At 64 um, last year. Yeah, 64 last year. But again, our form has been crazy. you look at you look at Milan. I'm just looking here since since the turn of the, of the new year. Um, 65 points got you Champions League last year. Yeah. Now I guess and now it gets you F all. It's already seventy it's already seventy two yeah. points. Madonna yeah. Mia sixty it's last yeah. year was in fourth and sixty so, points. You know, so like when you look at since that Atalanta defeat, you know, draw, win, 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 draw, loss to Inter, which was a choke, a tie to Juve, win, draw to Fiorentina, which was BS because that penalty it wasn't a penalty. Um, it wasn't a penalty. The, the loss to Genoa right before the, the shutdown. Which kind of sucked. Like, I still don't understand how we lost that game. Oh, I, I wanted the lead yeah. to be over. Yeah. I, I wanted it to cancel. I know. And then it was zero zero against. So ever since the restart, it's been it was zero zero against Juve. Win Lecce, win Roma, draw Spal, win Lazio, mm. win Juve, <laughs> draw Napoli, win Parma, win Bologna, win Sassuolo. That that form is up against 
that that's the best, probably the best form in the world in the in Europe right now. Um, it has I, to be. Atalanta. It has to be up there with Atalanta. That's Atalanta, it. If I look at and now we're playing them on Friday, so Atlanta's form is yeah, it's basically the same as us. They haven't lost since the restart either. They tied. They have. Two. Yeah, they had. They've tied a couple. They tied. Yeah, a couple. Oh, okay. So let's go here to uh, Anthony's point. The media continuously talks about Rennes' transfer targets. Now it's off. Who will be some of Pioli's targets? Well, you know what's hilarious, Anthony, is that, like, it's hilarious that, you know, Di Marzio and stuff are like, oh, like, Rennes, like, this player, like, you know, ex, the Shabovalai, uh, Rennes player. Well, now what? Right? Like, now what? It's, it's, it's hilarious when, when that happens, right? So I, I don't know. I, I mean, I'd love Tonali. I think he'd be a beautiful signing, especially because we got so much plus Valenza from yeah. uh, Suzo and Cutrone. Uh, Umbi, what do, you, exactly. what do you think? Um, well, honestly, I never really understood the the Soboslai uh, transfer links. It's like if if Ibrahimovic stays, even if he doesn't, like we have Rebic who plays better on that left side. Like that's that's where. He played with the Croatian national team. That's where he played yeah. with the Eintracht Frankfurt. That's where he should play. The, the cam, the the trequartista, the guy, the number ten role, that was undoubtedly going to be Hakan's because just look, like finally look, we're playing him in position and he's doing amazing. Like it's it's about time finally, and like then the right. I think the right side is where we need we need more help. Like Shobozlai is a right footed. A uh, left winger kind of yeah. guy who can also play the ten role, but like I think we need, we need someone who's technical and who's pacey on that right side. Like yeah. I don't want to, I don't want to sound like one of those fans that think back about the past, but I think Delo Feo has to be, be has to be. That'd be a good player, for, especially and like, and too, like, Watford. Yeah. Watford might get relegated. Yeah, they might Aston, get. Uh, Aston Villa it, beat it, Arsenal it looks, today, yeah, and Watford like lost for nothing to City. It looks like Villa will get relegated. So yeah. like, hey, like Delo Fail finally sees Milan, finally sees a project. He's uh, been apparently he's been wanting to come back. Like, what's stopping it? He plays in the role he loves playing in. Yeah, exactly. So maybe I'm hoping that that's a number one target. Finale, one of the targets. Yeah. Finale, uh, I think. Uh, I mean, but now, but now that you confirm Pioli, now it gives you time to the transfer market opens up in August, I believe. So it you gives you time to now. Ask Pioli, what are your needs and wants for this squad? Enough of this BS. Who's coming in? Who's coaching? Now we you now ask his squad. Hey, Pioli, what kind of characteristics are you looking for, and what do we need? And see, like this, yeah, this is one of the here, reasons like, why I like that for, because, for, like, for, uh, we got Pupala here who's asking what Pioli's philosophy is. Um, we don't know what his game plan is like. Well. I mean, you look at what is it, it's possession fast. Yeah, if you've been up. watching the game, yeah, it's literally uh, how like Ragnik, fast, it's fast really how Ragnik would. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's it, it's fast build up, quick passes, one touch, and and on create and open up space for your teammates and, and get you, shots you, on get the shot target. target. Yeah, get shots. That's, on target. That's like, big. I remember I was watching. I was just like on Twitter the other day, and I saw the I saw a um, it was like a breakdown of like shots on target. Yeah, I saw that too. Had. Um, it was like. They were like since the break, they've been averaging like almost like double digit shots on target. Yeah, and, like the the beginning of the season, they'd maybe get like two shots on target a match. Yeah, that's what we're scoring now. We're getting high quality looks, high quality playing, which allows for good looks basically. Yeah. And those are shots on target, good shots on target. Even even Milan, uh, even uh, Milan, they made the tweet about the official statement for Pioli as if they pinned it. They they want to they want to make you know that Pioli is made it pinned. Uh, damn, I'm like uh, just refreshing Twitter right now. Yeah, I guess there's a lot going on on Twitter right now. That's why we think we thought it would be a good idea to chat with you guys. So we'll go to the next comment here. Apollo says, Ooh, "Yeah, you're did right." You, did you see this uh, Pioli to Sky quote? Sorry Which to interrupt. Which one? I am very happy. I knew about the deal two days ago. Coaching a prestigious club and a team that can grow next season is very important. Our future is now, and we have to think about the remaining games and end the season well. I like the I like the two year deal. I feel like it's not like a crazy amount of years. Like you know, it's two years from now, so you get the full season this year, and then if it, he continues on the next season, again we can't have a revolving door of coaches. It just it, clubs can't do this. If they do, they don't. They're not succeeding. Um, so yeah, and Apollo, we have uh, a pl- we we have qualified for Europe, uh, European football because 
We are 11 points, I believe, up on Sassuolo. Let me see. Uh, we are, yeah, we are 11 points up on Sassuolo and 14 points away from Verona. So the mass they can get is 12. Um, so, yeah, so we, we're, we're guaranteed seventh place, which gets you Europa League spot because Napoli... Um, because Napoli how, won. How the, does qualifying work now? Though? I don't. It might. I think it's one game. I think it'd be one match against. Like it won't be two legs. And I'll oh, yeah, be against August. some like against some it'd like farmers. It'd in, be like, in August. Yeah. I mean, that's why I'm really hoping to get fifth or sixth. I, I want fifth or sixth. That's why these 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 get some rest. We have we have, on paper we have the easiest schedule compared to Roma and Napoli. It has to be said. Um, we need who, to care of business. Ga, who does who does Milan play? Gaieri. Sampdoria. And, Sampdoria, uh, Cagliari, Atalanta. Atalanta, yeah. And then uh, Napoli play Inter, Parma, Lazio. And, Sassuolo. Uh, and Lazio. That's a tough, that's tough. Parma's tough, Sassuolo's tough, Inter's tough, and Lazio's tough. Yeah, and, but hey, look who they have as coach. They have a guy who can Sassuolo. who can win with yeah, a one nothing yeah, lead. Even Roma, even Roma, they have after Spal, they have Fiorentina, Torino, Juve. That's not easy either. I would not want to face Torino right now. Oh, I wouldn't, because I feel like they can easily squeak, squeak a one nothing win on you, like nothing. Like um, Belotti, Belotti's yeah, been Belotti on fire, well. on fire. He's like Caputo scored again today. The penalty against us. Yeah, uh, no, yeah, Gee, yeah. So. So, it was 18th or 19th goal this season. Uh, 19. So he's Gee, a fun so guy to look. So all the while he's saying that Milan actually got 68 points last season. So okay, my bad. So we got we got 68 points last season. What are we at now? Uh, yeah. uh what are 59. we at? 59. 59. Nine? So our max could be 68. And the max could be 68. Really? You know what? Hey, it shows that Milan did the, almost the same work as last year, and it was just a league that was better. Because the rest oh, of the league that the was better. better. And yeah. yeah. These, league, these teams, yeah, we got 60, 68 points. Yeah. And we, we, had, we were 19, 11, and 8. That was our, that was our record. 19, 11, and 8. And we're, we're at right now. We, I think we had, I think we had, I think we had eight losses going into 2020 already. And we only Bruno Alves free one. kick, man. Uh, I know. I don't want to talk about it. So <laughs> Anthony, Anthony's saying, so where do we go from here? You go, it, this is good. You gives you a path. It gives you a, the coach. You add, it's continuation you, finally for the first time since I'm My favorite word is continuity because you need it. You need it. You need a coach to have his and obviously the players like playing for him have you heard one of these players he's something battle of pioli hakan chelanoglu it he looks like excuse me his lever school his lever in days he's he's absolutely on fire let me i'm gonna look up i think he has he had nine assists now he's banging he had two he had two more assists today he's been the most informed player since the return as to them has to okay, yeah, he's got seven, he's got seven goals and eight assists. That that's a that's a good stat line for a midfield. Hey, like for for a Tecartisa that's been played out of position since <laughs> since he got basically taken out. That's uh, what I mean. Like he's playing at Tecartista and it's working. And Apollo's saying that we need a left back and a right back. Uh, yeah, we you know if we're gonna sell Calabria for I mean the problem is uh, Apollo is that with 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 Conti hurt today and we don't know the extent of it if it's a long term injury we might not be able to there get is him. no way that you sell Calabria you can't you injury. have to keep him as depth you have to no we have to keep him because he's the only one that knows he, he yeah. he's the only one that knows that environment he's yeah, the longest right. serving guy there yeah yeah well. Like if Conti, if Conti was like fully healthy and stuff like that, like obviously, oh yes. for sure, you get you get you get rid of Calabria and you get another right back who can compete for this. Well, we we got Kalulu, remember him? Kalulu, yeah, Kalulu. but so, like I haven't heard of him. Like, what's he doing right now? I don't know. He signed his contract because with with the, the French league, they're done, right? They're they're done. Yeah, probably just training by himself, I guess, because you can't you can't officially announce till August. Um, well, no, Thomas Mounier was officially. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I don't. I guess we just didn't officially do it yet. I don't. I don't it was it the PSG defender that we were linked to. What's his name? The one uh, that got signed by uh, Kuasi. Kuasi, Tange Kuasi. Yeah, he got. Yeah, yeah look, look at Kalulu, like, you know, it just says who is P- like it's everybody saying he's on Milan, I guess. Um, so what? So what are your thoughts on on this question here from Mazi? Does this mean Maldini stays? Hey, like Luca Lucas mentioned earlier, a tweet that he saw online that was that um, Ant- Antonio Vitiello was saying that uh, management was going to be confirmed in these next few days. Uh, 
Hey, I think that means Maldini stays. Does he deserve to stay? I think he's done a phenomenal job. Phenomenal. Like, with what he's been given and the like, the outcome of it, especially, like, buying the two players that are literally – that literally have turned into the two most important guys on our team. I think he deserves a shot to stay and progress in his role, see what he can do. Like, as Luca says, continuity. Continuity is big. Um, continuity. Continuity is huge. And, I, and yeah, so it looks like Maldini is going to stay, um, which is great, honestly. He's a, he's a Milan icon. And I saw it said, like, Milan basically, because he just chose Maldini over Ragnik, essentially. Um, he did. He again. Chose- yeah, each of a staple over a possible what if. Yeah, like it makes sense. Um, yeah, so like okay, we'll talk a little bit about the match. Um, you know, Milan two, Sassuolo one. A brace from Ibra he scored two fantastic goals, uh, two assists from Hakan Chalanoglu. Um, I mean, Milan suffered a little bit, I'd say, in the first half, but after that red card. I mean, I kind of that's a silly, silly red card at the, at the uh, end of the first half there. Oh, um, did you see how Rebic positioned himself to get fouled? Oh yeah, it was, he wasn't going for the ball. I love good. it. So intel. I mean, I mean, if you're on a yellow though, why are you sliding like that? You shouldn't be. But hey man, um, hey, man I asked Theo Hernandez and Ben that exactly. What are they part. doing? I, like, I guarantee you, Pioli said, "Listen, don't don't do anything. Don't stupid. do anything unless you're gonna save a goal. Don't do it." And they said, "Okay." I guess they don't. Their Italians not that good yet because they probably understand. Uh, yeah. But whatever. I mean, hopefully we can contain Atalanta. I watched them today against Bologna. Bologna actually did a pretty good job against them. I'm going to be honest. They only lost one nothing. Um, you know. Yeah. Rome, the one know, day I need them to actually score a bunch of goals for my for my fantasy yeah. team, like Fantacalcio. I'm going to look at my Fanto Calcio squad right now and see what I have. Oh, I'm uh, yeah. I'm in third place. I'm still going to well, make money. I'll I mean, I have Dale, but. I have to. I mean, uh, no. There's, okay, yeah. I, there's only been two games, so there's still everything tomorrow. Um, so yeah, let's talk about. So um, Hagen says both Conte and Clever need to go. Emerson has the main, but Emerson plays as a left back. Hagen, he's not a right. I mean, I, I would be in. I would be interested in if you're going to get rid of uh, Some death. Myself, I'd bring in Emerson for sure. I guess he can play as both sides, eh? But I mean. Kalulu, we, no one's, no one knows anything about him. It's kind of tough for me to say. I, I, I've never seen him play in my life, so I can't, I can't really tell you much about him. Hey, uh, Luca, I'm 500 points ahead of you in Fanta Calcio. Uh, I know. Hey, guys, just so you guys know that um, I started. know, I, I, don't get me I know more about Calcio than Luca. Uh, don't get me started. This guy, I got screwed early in the season. I got so many injuries. What are you gonna do? Um, um, okay, both Conte and Calabria need to go. <laughs> Emerson's main and Kalulu are sub, huh? Um. Yeah, so I would, no, no, no. Emerson, Emerson yeah, plays. I, I, well, know, right? I don't know if he's left. I don't know if he's predominantly right footed and he's been playing left back. I really don't follow the Premier League that much, but all I've just seen Emerson always be deployed on the left side of the field. Yeah. Um. So that's obviously then like a no. Like maybe he can be some sort of backup because he knows how to attack. Yeah. Because like when Conte was there, he'd deploy him as the left wing back, and Emerson would be the first guy upfield. Him and like Victor Moses would be the first guys upfield to send in crosses. Which like you need someone like that now. Like you like that's what modern day football is. It's like just look at Liverpool. Like Alexander Arnold and Robertson spam like fifty crosses into the box every single match, and yeah, they see they what win games. They, they just kind of see what happens. But no, honestly, like someone for the right back, like obviously I'm going to throw a name like Dumfries out because yeah, like nice. everyone, everyone is talking about him. Um, he's doing, he's doing, he did well with PSV for the time being. But, you know, for the left side, I'd like to see Milan get Lorenzo Pellegrini as a backup. Yeah. Uh, oh, you, t- you think about Luca Pellegrini? Luca, not Lorenzo, Luca. No, oh, he's, he's, um, Luca Pellegrini is a Juve's he's Juve's player, so I know he's a Juve yeah, player. That's the thing, and especially because they they have like garbage fullbacks, he's he'll probably go there. Um, Ahmed says, "Can Maldini fill Boba and Leonardo's shoes?" I mean, he's done a good job. He's getting some experience, and he's brought in a couple of fantastic players. And now that he has a coach that he speaks to with Pioli. You can discuss what are your what are our needs as a team. What do we need in depth? What who we need to sell? You know, and we again the forty six million from Cutrone and Suso. That, that's straight plus Valenza. So 
to use that Pus Valenza and other signings. And yeah, sure, they want to go young. I mean, I'd be nice if we can extend Ibra next season. But we have, you know, Leao, Rebic. It's time to start, you know, we're, we're going to get Rebic on permit, hopefully. Um, hopefully, yeah. Like, I was reading, um, I was should, reading, agents, what was it? Agents coming tomorrow. Is agents coming tomorrow, Casa Milan. Um, yeah. I guess, see, it's hilarious because he only said that he, he knew yesterday that he was going to get the job. And and it's funny because... And, and Why wait until today to confirm it? I like that, though. When they're winning at halftime, they confirm it. Well, it's I, think, gutsy. Uh, I mean, I think what happened was they saw Kicker release the information and, and then everybody started getting it, like Sky and Di Marzio. And, well, I think Di Marzio has been a bit of a fraud these days. I don't think he knows anything what's going on in Milan. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think he knows anything what's going on with Milan and Maldini because he said... Rannick is for sure, and, and he's already looking at players and stuff like that. So, what is that even true anymore? If they didn't have it, if there is no pen to paper, is anything true? A gentleman's agreement? Like, what? I don't know. It doesn't really, you know what, I, you know what I'm trying to say, right? Like, honestly, it, it, yeah, I don't know. But hey, to those of you who are listening, oh, and, who, who sorry, are listening and, and can about, and know some Italian, Emerson, Emerson Royale, not Emerson Palmieri. My Here, bad. So, th- this, is what, this is what Ibrahimovic had to say at the end of the game, and I'll translate it for you guys after. Uh, well, I didn't even see it. Where, where is it? Where is the quote? Let me see. Let me go on Twitter. Um, Ibra. Are you watching it right now? Yeah. Basically what we said at the beginning, everything changes every single day. Yeah, I said that, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm watching it right now. Doing good things. Huh. <laughs> what a guy. If you go, okay, so basically, I'm going to translate what he just said. He was like, hey, from the day I came in to now, we're second and third. We, like, we're second or third in the, in the standings yeah, yeah, since the day I came third, in. Yeah. Uh, he's uh we're doing good things we're doing good things and and he said that everything like, something new happens every day but that's just you bro being you bro that's that's a lot but i i can't see Zlatan play on milan anymore he's too arrogant he's missed way too many chances like he's good i think he should just be uh some sort of uh <laughs> coach now i can't watch him waste all those chances anymore Holy, I'm looking at this. I don't think any manager can do this. This is the table. This is the table since he sold Susan Piontek and started playing Ibra and Rebic, aka the new starting 11. We're second in the league, officially. Behind We're Atalanta? Behind Atalanta. Three points. By how many points? Three points. Since Ibra, since Ibra came in, we have 37 points. Just wow. in, in comparison, Inter have 27. Uh, Juventus, Juve have 35. Napoli of 32, Lazio of 30. That's that's pretty crazy. Hey, hey so I think I think that means Milan has to qualify for Champions League football. <laughs> like it's it's automatic. It's automatic. It just has to be done. Um, because I guess. But hey, like I have a question for you, because yeah. there are still three Italian teams in the hunt in the champion. Well, hopefully Juve, just Juve. Yeah, hopefully both Juve and Napoli win. No, I think uh, when, uh, with Napoli, it's 1-1 one, one going to Barcelona. And you and are Juve's losing 0-1. Zero, one. Yeah, 0-1. Zero, they're, going, they're going home. Yeah, at home. And, it, and it's Ronaldo. I guess, yeah. It's Ronaldo playing. Um, and in Europa League, you still have Inter, Roma. And that's it, right? Just those two? Or even Lazio? No, Lazio got kicked out. It's just Inter and Roma. It's, it's Inter and Roma, Europa League, yeah. So what happens if what yeah, happens if an English that. team yeah if, if 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 an Italian team wins the Champions League and an Italian team wins the Europa League? <laughs> yeah, I don't think it works like that, that, that. I don't think no, it doesn't, right? Because like the Premier League, think, nothing like, happens. That means that because that means the City A would get like nine spots, then that would happen. So yeah, because like nothing. So I, I, I think. think an extra spot would go to like one of the smaller leagues. I think it's how it yeah. works. Because I'm trying to think. I'm trying to remember back to like how it was with the Premier League last season. Yeah, it I was the third. The third spot in France became automatic. Yeah, yeah, and that's what. So I, I before you, so Pioli has an interview right now. Um, I'm very happy. I know about the deal two days. I knew about the two days ago. Coaching a prestigious club and a team that can grow next season is very important. Our future is now. The club was honest with me. 
in the talks with them, they told me that nothing has been defined and that the choice will be made at the end of the season. I've always spoken with Gazidis. He told he has spoken to me before the Genoa game when rumors started to come out, tell me that no decision has been made. Um, he said that I have more I have I had more direct contact with Maldini and Mazzara, but Gazidis was present as well and showed his trust. Yesterday was the call where I was informed by com- about my confirmation. Did I expect it? I surely hope for it. I'm fine here. I want to continue uh, my work because it's just a start. They, there, there will be big difficulties, pressure, and expectations. But we have a nice space to build on. We have a strong young, we have strong young players who have to grow, but have shown to have quality. I uh, and then he said uh, Romagnoli. Uh, season is probably that, over. Yeah, so Romagnoli season is going to be over. I kind of assume that because it's only two weeks, not even. Um, he said that Romagnoli had a muscular problem, so that's good. Muscular problem. That's not ACL. That heals, yeah, that's. So he said, "I'm, uh, I'm sorry because uh, Romagnoli played every single minute of the season." Um, and then he said, uh, Conti, suffered, Conti suffered a knee problem that will be evaluated in the coming hours. That's more negative news about Conti. Oh, my God. Poor guy. Yeah. Um, uh, that's not good. Um, that's not good. And then I think... I'm happy that Romagnoli just has a muscular problem because that, that's okay. He'll, uh, that, that, he should be good for the start of the season. It, honestly, it's probably it's fatigue, man. It's fatigue, too. Like, I think uh, today against Asuolo, I think Pioli should have just rested a couple guys. Especially the guys who were on yellows for such an important match next uh, on Saturday? Sunday? Friday? Uh, our, next, our match is on Friday. Like, no, there's no rest. Friday. Yeah. Like, like you just gotta like you just gotta rotate the squad. Like that's why that's why Lazio basically hasn't been winning. Like they haven't changed their squad yeah. whatsoever. But at least at least it's nice that Atlanta played today too. So like we have both the same amount of rest. Same amount of rest. Same amount of rest and um Yeah, but Atalanta well, apparently Ilicic is gonna be healthy for yeah, the Milan he, game. Yeah, but he he might be on the bench still, even if he's healthy, because they want him healthy for the chat like Champions League is what like they already secured top four football, right? Like exactly. They, so the they same thing is like, they they benched Malinovsky today. Yeah. They took they took Papu Gomez out early. They took Zapata out I know, early. I know. Well, no, no, not early. out early as well. Eightieth minute for Papu Gomez. No, seventy eighth minute. Seventy eighth minute. I think. Was it seventy eighth? Yeah. I'm trying to see here. Uh, I look oh. at D, I look at DJ Barrow said the the team looked tired today. Um, oh, 60, uh, 66 minutes. So, see, that's like an extra 30 guess, minutes yeah. that a player keeps in his legs. Um, I'd say that, yeah, the team like, was yeah. a tired, but I feel like uh, I wasn't. 100%. But I wasn't. Um, well, I'm from St. Vincent. Nice, man. Caribbean. Um, Shouts out to the Caribbean. Beautiful place. Caribbean. Um, I think that, you know, every team's going to look a bit tired. Um. So, get Lazio, for example, we were talking about like they've never changed anything in their season. Maybe just put Parolo on for someone in the midfield, and yeah, like, that's why. That's why, like, they're just too tired. And once you're tired, once the fatigue hits, you lose creativity. You lose. Uh, you just lose so much, and you're thinking like, how? How is it possible? Like, what can we do? Because you run out of ideas. So, uh, I think. I, it should have been either this game or last game. Milan should have just rested a couple players. Like against Bologna, man, like you're winning 5-1. Take out all the key guys. Like very, very, very early on. Yeah, exactly. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, it's going to be tough. It's going to be a tough match in Atalanta. I mean, Maybe with with Pioli's confirm the confirmation, like the players kind of be amped up. Like I mean, if Ebert has started heard of it today, I'm assuming the players just found out right now in the room. Maybe um, they obviously didn't communicate to the players, right? Thought you kept uh, a surprise. Yeah, yeah if, exactly. Ebert, if Ebert didn't know, and Ebert's the president, coach, <laughs> uh, owner, everything, <laughs> then yeah, uh, you think someone um, like Alexis Salamakers is gonna know? Yeah, no, they're not telling Salamakers. Um, Hakan just posted an Instagram picture of him and Ibra. Saying the uh, the um, they have like the, he has a celebration saying two plus two the he says no problem Ibra Ibra two plus two believe in yourself um yeah so that's great I like I like seeing that uh the you know the teams like the team looks happy like they're getting the results and it's kind of weird for me and Easty to go into a match and say okay you know what I think we have a good chance of winning this match you know like, I have a good feeling today I wasn't nervous at all 
I'm gonna be honest with you. They had ten men, yeah. before, but they really didn't create any chances. Absolutely not. Second yeah. half, like, and even that, and that was with you got to think too. Two, half of our back line, half actually, half, uh, three. The only player that stayed the whole game was Kier. That's, That's it. it. Because That's it. yeah, um, we'll only have one starter against Atalanta in the back line. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting lineup. Um, we'll see, guys. We'll put it over to you. Um, we'll talk for a little bit more. Put something in the chat. Any more questions? Any more comments about this whole situation? Um, it's kind of. It, it just doesn't really feel real. Like I feel like it just happened in like in five minutes. Like, everything just blew up. The the I, last nine months just blew honest, up in the last two honest, hours. Me personally, I, I don't even read the like the things about Zlatan and or sorry, um, Ragnick. I didn't even want to. I, I, I don't even care anymore. I just say you know what, well, just wait to see what happens. Whatever happens, happens kind of thing. But now it's like. Now it's official. You were always skeptical about it, though. You were like, oh, I don't I know. Was. They might keep Pioli's doing I, well. I always, I always kind of said, you know, I, I think Pioli's done enough. I, I thought, to be honest, I thought they maybe have like a common meeting, like that Rene would come as a director and uh, Pioli would stay as coach. But obviously, Rene, apparently Milan made a different deal to him. Apparently, he said, you know, screw that. So um, that's it. Like, I mean, Milan, there's a lot of, a lot of retweets and, and likes on this tweet for Pioli. And again, I think Pioli has Milan playing a, tra- a very attractive football. And again, he's he's made players better, not worse. So he's made them better, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So Maldini, Maldini staying. Um, yeah, I mean, I I, I think it's I, I'm I'm pos- Excuse me, I'm positive right now. Um, are you po- like? Are you, I think we have to be positive. What do you think? I think there's like, for what, for what's achievable, for what's attainable, I think like, it's kind of hard not to be positive because yeah, like the only thing we couldn't do right now is not brick the yeah. Europa League qualification. No, I know that's the problem, right? And that's, that's the other right. thing. Like obviously, like we well, already know. I hope you know. I know. I'm hoping we come fifth or sixth. We don't have to do that. We go into the group stages. Well, yeah. Well, hopefully, yeah. Fifth yeah, exactly. is obviously well, it's gonna be, it's gonna be uh, interesting. Like, hopefully, again, even a, uh, sorry, sorry, guys, even a draw against Atlanta would be. I'd be celebrating it. But I you know what? Anything can happen. We're in good form, even with the players that are coming out. Anything can happen. Atlanta, realistically, us and Atlanta are both due for a loss. When, would you agree with that? We're both due for a loss. We I both, think I really hope both. Atalanta is due for the loss. I know, I know. Milan. So I'm just looking at like the back line is going to be Calabria, Kier, Gabia, Laxalt against Atalanta. Oh, oh my god, that sounds like a Coppa Italia <laughs> <laughs> a starting lineup. Honestly, it's it's going to be tough, but you know what? I'm sure their players are banged up too, though. Uh, and Ahmed Castillejo. You know what? I'm gonna be honest with you. Salamakers has been great. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think he's been bad. I would him. love to see him play. I w- I want to see him be the right back, if anything. I, I want to see him I, in an attacking know, yeah, role. Right. They actually might put Salamakers on the as right back, and then just put Leao at right. You know what I mean? They might they might just move him back and put it. You know what though? Calabria put a pretty good shift in today, so I think they'll give him the chance. Yeah, they played. A, Calabria's been playing well, man. Yeah, he played it's a good like, well against Bologna too. Has to be said. Yeah, it's not like the thing with Calabria is like I, I like I can't lie. I was one of his biggest like like fans like growing up. I oh, had his jersey cool. when he came up from the, from the youth jersey? academy. Yeah, I have a nice little Davide Calabria number two jersey what from jersey? Like four or five years ago. Is it Adidas? Yeah, Adidas. Oh my god. Um, yeah, like I, I man, I was hoping that he would turn into something, and like there was always a little. I thought in my head that yeah, like he's gonna turn into something. So like I didn't, I never wanted to let up on him. But the thing was with him, he was never consistent. Like he would perform. I remember like that one match against Ro- Roma two years ago when that was the best match he's ever played in his life. When we beat Roma two nothing. Yeah, I remember when that. We were, Fr- frisbee when he scored frisbee. Oh, frisbee. it was a nice little oh, dude. It reminded me of Icon back on Inter. Kalinic, Kalinic. one two with Kalinic. One two with Colin. Man, it literally reminded me of a Mycon when he played with Inter. Yeah. Like it was like someone that was so like agile and his feet precise with passing and nice little chip goal on the keeper. And the keeper at the time was Allison too. Like it wasn't no like bum keeper, it was a world class keeper that he chipped. 
Was yeah. that Allison or or Voight? It, it was. It time. was. Uh, it was. It was Allison. It had to have been Allison. Yeah, it was. It was him because it, was, it was. That was when we were in when I was in first year of university. So that was two two years ago. Yeah, no, two years three, ago that three. two, two or three. Two, two, two. Okay, I think it was, two, it was, yeah. it was February of 2018. February. Think. Yeah, because I remember I just came back from Italy. So, like, I didn't watch the full game. I just came, like, I just watched, like, the last 15 minutes of it. Yeah. Like, it was when we were in first year. Yeah, so, exactly. yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, Alison, Ali, that was Alison's, <laughs> Alison's yeah. drama. He um, made Alison look like yeah, the worst character. Yeah, but, like, I, I like Castillejo, too. But I think Castillejo Salamakers on that right side is perfect for depth. I think it's great to have two players who are, have a little bit different characteristics. And I think uh, Castillo's left foot is Salamaka's right footed. Um, and again, I like Pioli with four two three one. It's I like it. Kessie's way better in double pivot. He's amazing. He's a beast. We don't have to talk about him anymore because we already know his performance yeah, is going to be good. Kind of, yeah, it's kind of similar to how he played um, with uh, with Atalanta. Exactly. Um, defensive role. Whenever there was the opportunity for him to go up, he went up. Yeah. So you're not expecting it. You just like look at a lot. One was when did he score that bang oh, against Parma? Parma. Like, he, like oh my god, I watched that. And I was like, what the hell? Oh, I know. That was just that was honestly. I, I if if you would have said, hey, okay, guess who scored that? I I, I think Cassie would have been one of my last guys. He probably would have been like who? Rebic. Yeah. Maybe. Rebic. Maybe like Hakan. 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 Like if um, if if you like if you were to have heard me say, X scored a banger yeah, from thirty exactly. yards out. Yeah. Like obviously you'd think like, oh my god, Chalhan Oglu? Yeah. Like, come exactly. on, really? Exactly. Nope. Think again. Ibra? Uh, nope. Frank the tank. Frank the tank. Hey, Kessie. Ibra Ibra scored two beautiful goals today. Um the 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 first the first goal, the ball in from Chalhan Oglu was absolutely fantastic. Um that was a beautiful ball. He and that has that, a that, beautiful that right foot. Counter, the second goal on the counter, a beautiful through ball, and Ibra just calmly goes around the keeper and slots it through. Like it was like nothing too. I didn't even know if I should celebrate or not. It was just like casual. We just casually score. We casually score two goals every game. Do you remember this team at the beginning of the season? We couldn't even get a shot on net against Udinese in the first game of the season, which was almost a year ago. We had zero yeah. shots on net. Zero shots on We can't have a player like Piontek. Pioli system, we have to have a player who can hold the ball up and be good with his feet, and Ibra's that, right? And that is not... I was surprised we didn't see Rafael out today for, for Rebic. Yeah, uh, I think... Well, like, yeah, I really don't understand why Pioli took Ben Acer out. Like, he's already suspended for the Yeah, he's already going to rest. They're already going to get rest. Like... It was useless, I guess, a uh, lack south. I guess, like, you're giving the minutes to, like, get, like, acclimated with a team so, like, they know how to play. But I think that was such a waste. Like, take Rebic out, man. He's, like, one of the most important guys on the team right now. Yeah, exactly. Um, but, yeah, whatever. I mean, we're going to have to rely on Ibra and Rebic and uh, Kessi against Atalanta on Friday. But I guess that's another story. I guess we have to just live in the present right now and just kind of be happy that, or what's going on. So we're going to end off in a couple minutes, guys. Any last comments, thoughts in the chat that we can talk about? Again, we love keeping it live. It's more fun this way. Uh, DJ got, Barrows, Sandmaker is a blessing. Yeah, dude, yeah. For yeah, three million? Dude. For three million? Why not? And even Kier, like these are good quality, cheap signing. This is like what Lazio and Atlanta do. Cheap dude. quality signing. Days of the Condor. Days of the Condor with a yellow tie. Galliani. These are Galliani type actually, signings, actually, man. Actually, I think I think Galliani was talking to the press saying that he's he loves watching this Milan and he watches every game still and stuff like that. Um which is great. So does Berlusca, man. Berlusconi yeah. still loves this yeah. Milan. Yeah, he does. Um I don't know. I, I just think guys that honestly and this is like just a word of advice like as Milanisti, we've been through hell and back so much um, over these past eight years man we've been through hell and back over the last eight years it's been really sad it, you know what they we're playing positively let's just keep keep it positive honestly i mean what else do you want we can't be negative and sit here and be like oh yeah we're gonna regret this move next year and stuff like that we can't you can't have that mindset because if so you're gonna watch the gotta be somewhat positive you gotta be po- a little bit at least a little bit positive right like come on like we have ebra we have you know what? I wonder if one of Antuta gets a contract extension. Like he looks pretty good when he gets out there. Yeah. Um, 
But the problem uh, is, yeah, I think, I think they wide. needed, I think but they needed depth. one thing for the dominoes to all fall. It's a depth, though. Like, yeah. would you get rid of Bonaventura? Ventura? Like, think about it. He's a player you can come off the bench. You can start. No, because I know, I know, Bonaventura Ventura is going to go to a team like Lazio or Roma. Be really good and be very good. Be very good. Even go yeah. to a team like Bologna with like Mihailovic. Oh, I don't want him going. I want him to stay with us. I feel like he's a he's a good utility player who can play in ten different positions. Like, I'd rather him be terrible with us than be good with another team. That's what I mean. Like, it, I feel like even if he's not, even if he does, you know, like if he if his quality has decreased over the next couple of years or next year, he's still a decent depth player to have. I'd rather have him than some random guy that we buy for seven million. Guys like him and Kroonich, these are these are guys that you need over the stretch of a season for depth for Coppa Italia. You know what? Especially even like with the Europa League, playing Europa League, that's an that's extra games. You need these guys. Um, I and like, even like a guy like Matteo Pessina, everybody's been talking about him. I'd grab him, but we get half off. Oh, I remember watching him growing up with yeah, Milan. Yeah, he, I, remember. I remember he had um, I think it was like I'm trying to remember back. It was like a while ago. It was like five, six years ago. Milan gave him like a chance in like a Coppa match. And it was like, I saw him play and I was like, yo, like, he's not, obviously he's not great, but like. No, he's, if you look at his, yeah. if you watch him for Hellas Verona, he scored a beautiful goal at the weekend. Um, he did. He's, he dude, he's a good little ball. player, man. That was another, that was another youth product that Milan let go of way too early. He's got seven goals this season. And with Verona, too. 23 with, years old. With Hellas Verona. How many goals have Verona scored? Like 30? No, they're pretty good. They're actually pretty good this season. Uh, they have some the academy net. Hellas Verona has 42 goals. You got seven of them. He's got Mental seven math, anybody? Um, 7, 14, 21, 28, 35. 42. <laughs> he has one-sixth of the goals. And he's a midfielder. He's like an attacking midfielder. He has He'd be great to have. Six. He'd be great to have, especially because we play. If we're gonna play a four-two-three-one, to He's have the top score. No, oh, but yeah, exactly. Yeah, there you go. But to he, have, but <laughs> yeah, but to have a guy who can play all the three positions and the three behind the one is huge. We have to have depth there. You have to have like six guys who can play there. And those. Dude, I look. I see him as like the Italian version of Phil Foden. Like he's <laughs> got so much potential, Pessina. Milan got rid of him so quickly. Like how they do with all their youth products, and look what he's doing now. Yeah. Yeah. Top goal scorer, goal leader. Okay. Yeah. With a ninth place Verona, but hey, one six of the goals. Verona. Verona's a tough team to play against. He's yeah. doing decent this year. He's doing well. Yeah. Why not? And they they have a fifty percent. Uh, yeah. I I I hope that's right. Like when they say, yeah, it, it, it is, it is. Or we're co owners. Well, I remember, do you remember, do you remember the yeah. Co ownership, yeah. Co ownership. Yeah. Co -co -ownership. Co -co -ownership. Uh, I remember hearing Roma bought nine goal in for like 9.5 million co euros. Co owners. Co yeah, co owners. Co owners. Well, then Inter, Inter gave him 30 million in Zaniolo for, a, oh for one God. season of nine goal And that was one Man. of the worst. Transfers the, ever the the best comproprieta the co-owner uh, purchases I'll I'll never forget was Andrea Poli from oh Sampdoria. Sampdoria, one point five million euros for half of the player. And his first game, he comes in and scores the first goal of the season. Like oh my first god, first goal of the Serie Andrea Poli, Andrea Poli que and goal. They, they lose two one to who? Alex Verona. Verona. And who scored the two goals for Hella Verona? Luca Toni. Luca Toni Pepperoni. Luca Toni, say per me. Numero uno. Um, okay, guys, we'll end it off here. We've been talking for a little bit. Yeah, all you guys in the chat, honestly, it's dinner time here anyway. So, uh, is, yeah. honestly, guys, thanks for everything in the chat. Please subscribe to us on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Google Play. Subscribe to us, like our videos, DM us. Help, us, help us become big, boys. DM us. DM the potential. Yeah. DM us if you want to see anything or see something different or anything like that. Give us a good rating on Apple Podcasts or YouTube comment. We're here. We'll chat. It's good. It's positive, positive uh, broadcast these days since the restart. Anyways, Umbi, thanks for coming on. We will no be back soon. All right, guys. Ciao. All right, for ciao, ciao.